Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm drinking coffee. Yummy coffees. Hi, Rinka and Renee and Stephanie and Gail and Esther. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? Are you guys working along with me? Ooh, you got your art desk. Does that mean you're doing mixed media mashup with us today? Yes. That's the rules. You have to do it now that you have an art desk or else they'll come and take your art desk away. <laughs> and Stephanie too. Stephanie's going to work along with us as well. Okay, I will. I haven't gotten to a lot of my messages today. I've been a little busy. Teresa. What's too hard to do? Mixed media mashup? Oh, come on. You can do mixed media mashup. I did it when I had puppies. And I had two puppies at the same time. You can do it. Oh, you know what I don't have? My freaking heat gun. It's in the living room. Let me go grab it. Hold on a second. I forgot. I was using it for resin purposes. Let me grab it. Okay. Also, while I was out there grabbing that, this is the bowl I made yesterday. It's still a bit soft, as you can see. It'll completely firm up to completely hard in the next day or two. So that's why I have it around this, because that's where I put it last night. And then I'll put a, a glossy coat on the inside once this completely cures. I'll brush a coat on so it'll be just as glossy as the outside. But isn't that beautiful?
I already cut any kind of like edges off of it and I'm gonna do a light sanding and then put a gold paint around the edge but I think it came out so pretty like it, you on camera it doesn't look very good because it or doesn't look as good because you can't see the different colors and the clear spots in it and like the really cool different pinks and also the iridescent um, the interference that I have in here is beautiful and you guys can't pick that up unfortunately you I mean you could see it but it's not as pretty on camera believe me it's so much prettier in person than it is on camera because on camera it just makes it look like re either really red or really pink but it doesn't give you like the same amount of depth it is so pretty and then the inside will be just as shiny and pretty and it looks like it has these little clouds which I think is cute it's got like these little cute little cat clouds isn't that neat that's from the white and it, they look like little clouds and I bet you they'll look really pretty when I get the shiny coat on it but yeah so that has to stay like that for another at least another day but yeah I think that came out so pretty hi Sherry hi Barbara hi crafty kitty Oh, it's supposed to be a number sign. <laughs> it's $150, that's why. It's supposed to be a number sign. Yeah, each prompt is $150, so you gotta pay me $150 for me to pick a prompt. <laughs> Hi, Shazzy. My gesso has dried. Without even using the heat gun, it dried. I'll plug it in down here. I have another cheapy, or well, it's kind of a half ass broken heat gun that I should get out and put one out in the living room, in the kitchen for wherever that dining room for my resin and keep the other one in here. Yeah, don't you wish I had that kind of money? It's bad enough I have to buy a new couch because my couch broke. I mean, it's fine to sit on, but I sleep on my couch. And, um, I have for 10 years and cause it's more comfortable for me. Um, well not, it's not even that my bed is actually probably more comfortable for me now. However, because of the girls, I can't sleep in the bed because they won't allow me to, cause I try to sleep in my bedroom and they cry and cry and cry and cry and cry and carry on. And they can't sleep in the bed with me because it's too high and I don't trust them on a, in a room that has carpet. So I'm. I have no choice but to stay in the living room because that's what they're used to, especially Winnie. And, but regardless, I like sleeping there. So I'm going to be looking for another couch because it's fine to sit on, but there's a piece of wood in it that broke from, I mean, the couch is 20 years old. It's in great shape, but it's 20 years old. So it needs to, the piece of wood broke because it's where I always sleep and it just got weak and it broke and because I'm a fat ass I guess 185 pounds of fat ass broke it <laughs> it's just from wear and tear because I've been literally have had this couch for over 20 years but I need to find another couch I'm going to put it downstairs so it's perfectly fine couch still it's just I can't sleep on it because exactly where I sleep now is so hard on my hips it hurts so bad um it's just impossible so I'm going to be looking I'm, I've already been looking on marketplace and stuff like that and me and Chris are going to look tomorrow because we have to go downtown I have to get my shot he has to get his medicine so um I'm going to, there's a place that has like close out couches and I made an appointment to go, um, because they're only taking people on appointment basis because of this whole, you know, the whole virus thing. So I'm going to go look tomorrow because they have it for like $40 down and then you pay like monthly. So we're just going to see what they say. I, it's probably not going to happen obviously, but, and they, you know, have some section really nice what looks like really nice sectionals for like five six hundred dollars which isn't bad but i just want to see what the deal is you know what i mean before i do anything but i just definitely need because that's my bed you know what i mean like that would be like if your bed broke and you couldn't sleep on it anymore um so i have to figure out something to do is it raining not at the moment why is it raining there 
Hi, Shelly and Renee. And who else did I miss? Hi, Laura and Sharon. I think I said hi to Barbara and Chazzy. Yeah, I love my couch too. That's the thing too. I want another couch that's similar to that one. So in, in order for it to be comfortable for me to sleep on, I want it to be similar to the one that I have now. Uh, so like just as wide as a couch and, you know, the fluffiness of it. I'm going to put the couch that's, I'm going to put this couch downstairs when the basement's done. Well, it'll go down there ASAP if I can get another couch as soon as possible. But, um... So I kind of had to sleep sitting up last night, which sucked, but, and I can't, I have a chaise that goes with that couch, but I can't sleep on that either because it's very uncomfortable. And then there's another side of the couch that's uncomfortable for me to sleep on. There was only one place for me to sleep on that couch that was comfortable for my arthritis and my back. And I didn't wake up in pain every day. I was, I've been starting to wake up in pain every day because of the wood that was getting worse and worse and worse and break and then finally broke. Oh, yeah? Mark carried umbrella. Oh, that was nice, though. Where's my dinner? Sorry to disappoint about the $150, but there's no... I, I wish I had $150 to give away. Believe me, I would if I could. Ain't got it. Yeah, not me. <laughs> you mean Wh Willow does the Zoom? Willow and Winnie do the Zoomies. That's another thing. Like, it, you know, my couch is a sectional, but I have it apart right now. Um, and I want to get another sectional, and I'll put it. I'll have it together though. When I if I get another sectional, it'll be. I'll have it the way it's supposed to be, instead of apart. Um, and downstairs I'll have this sectional that's up here together as a sectional downstairs when that's done. So, yeah. I don't know. Cause I just woke up at six o'clock cause I couldn't fall asleep. I was up all night. I was so tired. I wanted to sleep so bad, but I was so uncomfortable. And so I wound up getting up and was up for a while. And then when I went to finally lay down at like eight o'clock this morning, all of a sudden my neighbors decided they were gonna mow their lawn and use a leaf blower for two hours. So for two hours I heard that and it sounded like it was right outside my door. So I couldn't sleep. So that brings me to 10 o'clock. I finally laid down at 10 o'clock and was uncomfortable. And then I kind of sat up and was half acidly sitting up trying to go to sleep. And so I fell asleep finally in a very weird position and slept until six o'clock, which sucked. <sighs> Cause I have a hard time getting to sleep and staying to sleep. And so that's why it has to be the right conditions. And that's why that couch was always perfect because I can lay on it and fall asleep and usually stay asleep and I wouldn't have any issues and stuff like that. But that's why I need to find another one just as comfortable. So crossing my fingers that eventually I do. It's like an oversized couch, you know, one of those like overstuffed couches, like that type of thing. So it's not like, and they sell them still, obviously, even though I got mine back when they first came out, when they were first starting to be popular, the oversized couches. Um, back in 2000, I think we bought that couch. Yeah. So it literally, it's exactly 20 years old because we bought it in, in, in March or April of 2000. Isn't that bizarre? That it broke, it probably broke on the anniversary of the day we got it, I bet you. If we could go back and look and see, that would be really weird, weird if that broke. Because the couch finally said, you know what, I'm 20 years old, get your fat ass off of me, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but I mean, you could sit on it. Oh, you're welcome, Gail. I mean, you could, I could sit on it, as long as I don't put, like, because... So like, here's a cushion, here's a cushion, right? It's the wood piece. Cause whenever I would sit and wherever my hips would lay, it was in between the two cushions and there was a piece of wood that supported it. And that piece of wood broke. So you could sit on it and you could sit in the middle of it. It's just when you lay on it, it, your hip sinks in a weird way and it's very hard on my hips. You could sit on it. You'd never know the difference, but when you're laying on it, you definitely notice the difference. Well, I do because my hips are very sensitive. So 
that's what got screwed up there. So it'll be perfect for downstairs. I don't care. You know, that's fine. I just need to get a replacement. So fingers crossed that that happens. So who's playing along with me today? Your new mice, you have new mice. They've been doing the, the zoomies. And do you have a wheel for them? Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm gonna see I, like I said that I don't know if you were here when I said it but there's a place that has like a, a, a financing it's like $40 down and then no interest or whatever if you pay it within the first like 100 days and I figured well you know I'll see what the kind of the deal is you know I might not end up with, obviously with anything I likely won't end up with anything tomorrow but you know, just for poops and gigs, I want to check it out. Otherwise, I'm going to see if I can find a used one. I really don't want a used one if I don't have to. But because, you know, unless it's like less than a year old or something, which happens a lot here because people move to Nashville for a job and then they end up getting transferred out of state. And so they leave. And so that happens quite often here, actually, a lot. People jump around and because nowadays people are, you know, commuting every which way. So we have a lot of people that'll you know, sell their, buy for brand new furniture and then a year later sell it because they got to move because their job switched or changed whatever. So we'll see. We'll see what I can find. Sharon's playing. Barbara's playing. Oh, Barbara's not playing. So just Sharon is playing. Come on now. Well, I'm not going to keep doing mixed media mashup if you ain't playing along. Hi, Lisa. You can got a bit. <laughs> Are you going to play along? Oh, awesome. Lisa's playing and Sharon's playing. Who else is playing? That's okay, Shazzy. Laura Vasquez, are you playing along? And Teresa, are you playing along? Oh, Teresa, I put a whole bag of beads for Vern in, in your thing, um, by the way, in your package. Uh, one of your packages went out. Did I explain this to you in a message? I think I did. What, your, your media mail package went out, so that'll take like a week to get to you. The other one, um, <laughs> so you know how I was doing your thing, your, your resin thing? Well, I had gotten the glossy coat on it and then it tipped over and I didn't realize it. And so I had to re-sand it down and put another coat on it. So that's why, and I'll put it in the other box and send it out probably on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So I didn't even notice it, that it was like that. Cause I was thought I was just letting it cure. I didn't even pay attention. And then I noticed that it was tipped over and I didn't even notice it was tipped over because I had a lot of things up there, a lot of coasters and things I was letting sit and it tipped over and it tipped over, must have tipped over at the wrong time because the resin left a big ridge and I had to sand it and redo it. So I might even put an extra coat on it tonight. Um, but that was fun. I was used to sitting there with my Dremel for hours on that and one other one because I had to literally sand it little by little to get it off. I couldn't believe that happened. I was like cursing the stupid thing the whole time. <laughs> so I, it's, it's all nice and smooth now. So it's just, uh, 
needs to not be disturbed. <laughs> Laura's playing. Janie had an, a dentist appointment, so she might have went to sleep. Because who knows if she was able to get to sleep when she wanted to. So maybe she's asleep. Or she's... All she had to do is, I think, pick up her, her, her mouth guard. So it wasn't like anything invasive or anything. But at least I don't think it was. According to, you know, what I knew she was going to get. But... I'll message her. I messaged her. We'll see. Um, yeah, she was getting the crown and her her mouth guard, I believe. Well, the crown, all they had to do was glue it on. You know what I mean? They didn't have to do anything. Else. It wasn't like anything invasive they had to do to it. I believe. I'm trying to remember now. Hi, Vern. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of, I think I was saying that I was in the mid-sentence and I got sidetracked, but I have a whole bag of beads. Some of them are not yellow and green. Some of them are other colors, but most of them are yellow and green. And I have a lot of really nice, like, glass beads and just a bunch of beads. I made a big, like, a Ziploc bag full of beads. You went to my nearest Dollar Tree to see about the new craft items. What new craft items? They have new craft items? I don't know if you want to use the Dremel on your dog's nails. You're welcome, Vern. Yeah, I know they do, but I don't want to see Barbara do it. I'm afraid she'll be like, <laughs> that dog is never going to allow you to do that with a Dremel. He's going to hear that Dremel and, and freak out. When do you pay me for what? What do you pay me for? Oh, I can do all mine, mine, my dog's nails. Um, Willow's the hardest one. The masks, did I already send them to you or have I not made them yet? Oh, I haven't made yours yet. So you can, um, I'm gonna be working on that tonight. Um, so, you can wait until I'm ready to ship them. You have stuff in, you have stuff from the auction. So, I'm going to send them with that. So, you don't have to pay me any shipping money. So, if you just want to send me the 20 bucks for them, that's fine. Because you have two, right? Yeah. So, you could just send me the 20 bucks whenever on PayPal. Whenever you want. Um, and I'll put them in with your auction stuff. A lot of people, a lot, yeah, a lot of dogs don't like their feet touched. Um, Willow especially hates it. Winnie and Tigger, they can care less. Winnie especially, she don't care. That's because I, well, Winnie, I didn't even have to do that. But with Tigger and stuff, like, I always played with their feet when they were little. And that helps them get used to it. I tried to do that with Willow, but she really just didn't like her feet touched. Some dogs are more sensitive. Oh, yeah, you could just send the 20 bucks for the masks. That's fine. And then the shipping. I haven't worked out your shipping yet. So if you could wait till then too, and then do it all as, as one payment, if you want, if you want me to give you your shipping first, and then I'll add the masks in, it's up to you. Cause I haven't done your, I don't think I did your shipping yet. Um, I'm, I've been working on it slowly. I got some people done. Um, and then the rest I'll do either this morning, uh, before I leave to go to the doctor and, or tomorrow I'll be doing that too. So everybody will have their shipping totals before Friday and a lot of things are going to get shipped out Friday and Saturday. So 
a lot of things did get shipped out this past, when was that, Tuesday? On Tuesday. Yeah, in the case when you have dogs that have dark nails, like black nails, you would just do the tip of the nail. And what you do is, if you're because if you're not sure where the quick is, you just do the very tip. So just cut off the very tip, the, sh the very sharp part, you know, like, you know, like a, a, an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch. You're not going to hit the quick that way. So you would clip that off. And then in four or five days, the quick recedes. So if you, stop it. So if you cut, you know, a quarter inch off, right? In another four or five days, the quick will recede back. And so you can go and do another like eighth of an inch. And then in another four or five days, the quick will further recede back and you could do another eighth of an inch. So you can actually do it more frequently and that's how you can cut them down if they're bad. Winnie cuts her own nails. I still cut them, but she likes to cut her own nails. So she'll chew her nails. And that's actually great because she knows where the quick is, obviously. And she knows not to bite further than that they're her nails. So she like, like I would bite my nails. I would know not to bite them all the way back. It's going to start to hurt. So she bites her own nails all the time and she keeps them short. So I don't even get a chance to do hers really because she'll keep them pretty short. Not super short, but she keeps them short. I mean, I still do it, but what I mean is if I don't, if I if, if a couple of them grow or whatever, she'll actually chew them. What do you owe me for Willow? Oh, it's 1.5 million. <laughs> Plus another Willow. <laughs> yeah, Willow's very... Well, she's not low maintenance because of her hair, but I mean, as far as her personality, she's the laid back one. She's the polar opposite of Winnie. Winnie is very, very high strung, very, very, very like, you know neurotic, high strung, um, and Willow's the complete and utter opposite of that. Just very laid back and lazy and just like whatever. She doesn't bark at the door. She doesn't bother even to lift her head half the time. She can care less. All right. Let's get started because my thing is freaking out until I get some color on here. So we're going to pick a card. We are going to put some paint and ink sprays on our page. Let me. Oh. So get your paint or ink sprays out and spray your page and make some colors. I'm going to find something. permanent sprays because then if I have to do anything else on top it won't run around. Oh hi Jude. Let me look at your comment. Don't send the money back. I want to donate back to you. Oh, Judy, I, I don't want to do that. I appreciate it, but I don't want you to not get your money back. Yeah, it was crazy because Jude um, bought stuff in the auction and not I didn't even realize it was going to be this much because she lives in New Zealand. So I worked up the shipping and it was over a hundred dollars. <laughs> And I said to her, I said, look, I said, this is the shipping, but it's ridiculous. Let me just, you know, I don't mind at all. Let me just take this off because it, it's insane. There's no, I don't expect any, you know, like, so I had, what I did was from now on, I'm not going to do any more international shipping. Um, I will do Canada for the people that, you know, that have already been buying from me you know, from Canada, because I have like two people that buy from me that understand the prices and whatever. Um, so they're okay. But otherwise, like, 
international shipping I'm not doing anymore for my auctions because man, I, you know, I felt bad because, and that's why I told her, I said, don't worry about it. I don't expect you to pay it. Just I'll give you your money back. And then I was, I asked her how much was it because I could, I wanted to make sure I remembered. And that's what she's telling me not to give it back to her. But you know, I want to give it back to her because I don't want you to feel like you have to, you know, that you lost money. Are you sure, Jude? Because I really don't mind giving it back to you. But thank you. And I'm sorry that happened. I didn't know it was going to be that much either. I had no idea. Oh, thank you, Jude. Yeah, so I have this, you know, aside from the couple people that already order from me in Canada, which already know the ship, they're, they're used to the shipping, I'm just not doing any more international shipping just because I've had it happen a couple of times and obviously the shipping prices have gone up and it's crazy and it's not worth it. You know what I mean? Nothing I have in my auctions is worth that kind of shipping. <sighs> crazy. Yeah, she's very, very, very sweet. Thank you, Jude. So I have to try to make... Um, Chris's friend wants some of my coasters. And I gotta make... She wants like citrus colors like orange and... Orange and yellow and stuff. So I gotta try to make some in the next couple of days and see if I can make some that are like that. Whoa. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the resin. I, didn't, I never thought I'd get back into resin just because, well, I mean, like I've said before, at the time when I did resin, there wasn't all this stuff to do with the resin. It was mostly just you were covering pieces of jewelry with it, which is all I was... Or like you were covering a tile that you painted on and or, or decoupage something on. You know what I mean? And now that there's all this new fangled stuff, it's very, very addicting to play with. And I'm finding myself loving making all the different things, especially like the bowls. I don't know. Did I show you? I, some of you saw the bowl that were in here early but this is the newest one it's it's sitting it's resting on this bowl but it's absolutely gorgeous and then the camera does not do it justice but the the the, the ghosting color the interference of the little bit of a lavender interference in here is so freaking pretty that came out so pretty and the inside will be just as shiny. It's a little bit on the matte side, but it'll be just as shiny as that because I'm going to brush some resin onto the inside here. And um, and then I'll be putting a gold paint around the lip here. What's the new mold from Zuri? What's that? What mold is it that you got? But I was telling Chris how I didn't want to take custom orders because if they don't come out right, you know, I don't want to be. And, but he said he would, regardless, because it's for his friend, that it, it would be fine. So I was like, okay, as long as you know that I can't always guarantee that it'll come out perfect. Oh, the butterflies? Oh, cool. Oh, that's right. I remember you telling me about that. 
Bye, Jude. Have a good day at work. Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago, I ordered from AliExpress. I ordered something, and it was a mold, but I have a feeling I probably won't get it for a long, long time. But it's all right. I didn't even realize I made that color. It's kind of like a... Almost like a sage green. Yeah, you can use old pieces of things that already have color on them. You know, if you have an old canvas laying around that you don't like, you can gesso it and use it for whatever. Right, that's good. Yellows and greens and blues. I do get my sleeve in it. Yeah, of course I did. That's okay. I did get my sleeve in it. I see a mark and I was like, what I do get my sleeve in it? I don't like these long sleeves when I'm doing this because they're too floppy. Too flippity floppity. Let me.
if you notice I had cells that popped up, that's because in the blue and the green, and I think another color, I put a little bit of silicone because I was playing with it one day. And I realized that if you put a lot on, you'll get like cells as it dries. But it would have to be the permanent sprays like I made. You can't do it with water soluble ones. Bye, Gail. If it's up off the glass table a little bit. No. It's not ink sprays. It has to be. So I made these sprays and they're permanent paint sprays. So they're not ink sprays, but they're, well, they are kind of ink sprays. They're like an ink pigment mix. Kind of like an oxide spray, except, because that's what I was trying to make when I accidentally made these, except instead of putting um, gum arabic, which I would normally put when I'm making my oxide sprays, I would put gum arabic, which makes watercolor water soluble. That's how, you know, you make watercolors with gum arabic. It makes things water soluble, um, like pigments. Um, and I accidentally grabbed a different bottle. I grabbed a, actually it was right here. I grabbed a liquid varnish that I had, which I want to get more of this. I grabbed this and poured it in a couple of them before I realized it because I had it sitting here. And it doesn't even really, I mean, the gum Arabic bottle is so much smaller than this. But for some reason in my head, I just was doing that. And I did it to two or three of them before I realized, oh crap, I'm using the wrong thing. And so then I realized that when I made the sprays, and when I started playing with them, that they were amazing and they're really cool and fun to play with because they're permanent. You can do like crazy things with like layering and then like picking up some and getting the color underneath and the color doesn't move. So you don't get like, it's crazy, but I have a video showing me playing with it and making them and then playing with them and showing you the effects you can get with it. But the other thing you can do is put a couple drops of silicone in with it and then you get like these crazy little cells that'll pop up. So yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with these sprays that are a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I have a video. If you search my channel, I think the video is called um, like new mixed media sprays or mixed media sprays I made or something. I don't know. I'll find it for you and link it. But yeah, I was like, I love the way they turned out. And I used white pigment. You can use any color pigment. And I, and I don't mean, when, when I say pigment, I'm not talking about mica. It's not, mica and pigment are two different things. Mica is the stuff that's like shiny, that gives you that metallic or pearl look. Pigments are just pigments. They're just, you know, they have no pearl in them. They have no mica in them. They're just color. So that's what you need. You need either white, you can use white, um, or you can use any color you wanted to. Like there's white in here and you can see it at the bottom. It's white mixed with ink. And a little bit of paint even and then I put this with it which is liquid varnish which keeps it so that it's able to spray through the bottle um, and water and it makes these sprays that are amazing and they're a lot of fun to play with you can do all kinds of cool effects with them where you layer like I could take this and since it's dry right I can go over top of it here I'll show you real quick if you haven't seen it before um, and you, it's like, it's kind of like the oxides in a sense. You can go over top of it and then lift, um, lift color up. So like, I'll do like purple and pink in an area. I'm just going to do a small area. Like I'll do right here. So you could do one color, two colors, whatever. So what you would do is put a lot of color down spray please of course it's not going to spray 
Okay, there we go. So you can put like a lot of color down there on top of what I already have, and I'll do like a second color next to it. And what I do is, you can see that that's the cells from underneath are popping through, because I don't think there's the stuff in that one. But anyway, what you do is you start to dry it a little bit, and you have your water thing handy. And you start to dry it with the heat gun a little bit. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be completely dry, but you don't want it to be completely wet. You dry it until you, you're, just till you see it like starting to lose its like movement. Because I put a lot down, so it's like very flowy. So what I do is I'll dry it until I see it stop kind of moving, you know, moving around with the dryer. But it's still wet. It has to be still wet. So it's still very flowy right here. And then when it starts to get, it's a little flowy in some places, but it's fine. Then I took water and I'll spray it like that. And then I'll dry it a little bit just to move the water around. And then you take a dry towel. Actually, let me get a paper towel. Where the hell are my paper towels? Oh, they were just over here. Shoot. Dang it. I had paper towels over here yesterday, and now I can't find them. Because if I use this, I'm going to have to... Here, I'll use a baby wipe. Who cares? But you got to use usually use a paper towel. But look at what happens. You can lift some of the paint and still have the underside because the underside is permanent. So it's not going to lift. You know, this is wet. It shouldn't really be wet. You should do it with a dry towel. And you get this really cool effect where you could see all the colors underneath. And it's permanent, so it, unlike oxide inks or oxide sprays, if you after this dries, when you spray water on it, nothing else is going to happen, so you keep this. You can go over it as many times as you want. So if you want to then go over all of this with, you know, with yellow or orange or whatever, you can keep doing it, and it'll still look awesome. I have not, I never did one that, that came out weird or ugly. They all come out, like, really cool looking. But yeah, you can lift, as long as it's a little damp, not this, but you don't have to have a damp towel. As long as the paint is a little damp after you've sprayed it, then it'll lift. And it comes out really cool. And you can get like these cool like planetary galaxy. I get the best galaxies using this stuff because I have like a black and everything. I use, I'll get like the best kind of like cool looking galaxies. Because I'll put a whole bunch of colors down and then I'll take black and dark purple or black and dark blue and put it down and then I'll lift it and it comes up so cool looking. So much better than like oxides because oxides, the problem with oxides, and I love oxides, don't get me wrong, they're some of my favorite sprays, but the issue with oxides is once you put water on it, it completely whites over and you lose a lot of your color it's because of that oxide, which is really just pigment coming to the top. So because it's not permanent, the when you spray it with water the pigments rise up and all of a sudden your you know your beautiful mermaid color all of a sudden has a white haze over it and sometimes it'll look like every other color on there you know what i mean you lose a lot of that depth of color whereas with this you have the same effect as the oxides without having that haze so you just get bold bright color that doesn't have that haze on it <clears throat> I'd love to manufacture these sprays because there ain't nobody that has them like this. There's all kinds of permanent sprays out there, but they're not the same as these because people either usually make an ink spray or, and the only real pigment based sprays out there are the oxides and those are not permanent though. So this would be like, it's kind of like oxides, but without the oxide part and without the fact that, you know, they're not permanent, but they're, they're, per they're, I mean, they're, per these are permanent. And as long as you spray it with water, 
before it completely dries, you can lift like you do the oxides. That's the only difference. You can't do it once it's completely dry. I can't spray water on this now and get any more color off of it. But yeah, it's pretty neat how you can mess around with this. They're messy and they're fun. Um, I really like playing with them though. You get some really cool painty papers and stuff. That looks like black, but it's actually a really dark purple. It's just, you can't tell on camera. It's not gonna show up, it kinda does. It's like a grape purple, a really dark purple. But what I love is like that effect there where it's like you see the pink and the green and the yellow and the purple, like all right there. And that to me is really cool. I love that effect right there. And this would look cool with another color over top of it and then done again. But yeah, I love those sprays. They, they were an accident and they turned out so awesome. Yeah, right? No, I doubt it, but <laughs> unfortunately you need money to make money and I don't have the money to hire a, you know, a lab or a manufacturer to make these sprays. I've been asked if I would make some for people and they'd pay, you know, but the problem is, you know, it it takes a little time to make them and I wouldn't even know what to sell them. I mean, if I'm doing, if I, if I like was manufacturing them or whatever, yeah, five bucks a bottle would probably be fine. But for me, it's, it would probably be more like $10 a bottle just for the simple fact that it takes me so much longer to make them, you know, than anything. But yeah, I do like the effects. And then, like I said, you could put silicone in them, which you can't do with oxide sprays. So you can get that cool spotty, effect as well if you want it which is interesting hi mary jane yeah see i don't want somebody else to pay me for the idea i would i'm sure some company will come up with the idea at some point Or maybe they have, and I just don't know about it. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't seen anything. I looked all over to see if there was any kind of sprays that were like this, and I didn't find any. <sighs> all right. Let's pick the next card. Now that I've put a big blob in the middle of mine. Add tissue or napkin. Tissue or napkin. Or both tissue and napkin. Uh, let's see. I have to go over here to grab a tissue or napkin. Hold on a second. Oh. Yes, this is my brand new tissue. Wait, actually, I can. These tissues that I did. I forgot about these. So, I've got 
this piece. This is when I did the tie dyeing of the. That one's not as good as like this one. Where I did the tie dyeing of the. Whatever you want to call it, um, deli paper. Isn't that cool? I guess I'm doing multicolors since I threw all that on there. This is where I did the, made the, what did I use on this? I did something on this, I don't remember now. Um, what was I doing on this page? Oh, that's right. I was doing, I think, what was I doing? Oh, like, just like Tattered Angel sprays. And then I would, and then I took, I think, oh yeah, that's right. I put, uh, and then I took a spray varnish. I think I watered down a little bit of this stuff actually and sprayed it on and then stuck glitter on it. That's why it's so glittery. Something like that. Yeah, because then I did this one too. Is she still asleep? She might be sleeping, so she might not have gotten enough sleep because she had to leave the live stream early last night. That doesn't mean she was able to fall asleep, though. <laughs> if she's anything like me, falling asleep is harder to do, especially when you're not used to going to sleep earlier than normal. doing purples and pinks on here, I guess. Alrighty then. Let's put this over the really dark spot because I didn't want it quite so dark. I thought that was my lighter purple, actually. That was the purple I use when I do the galaxies because it's nice and dark, almost black. So we'll cover that up a little bit. But even if you just did one layer of those sprays, you see what I got that cool kind of funky pattern, even just that, by drying it almost all the way too, before I did that. You can get some really cool effects with that paint spray stuff. And it's not hard to make it. I mean, I'll show you how to do it. And the white pigment is not hard to get. You can just go to, Earth Pigments has it, and it's pretty cheap. You can get a big thing of it for like 10 or $15, and that'll last you quite a while. I use the white pigment for everything. Um, I use it to make my oxide sprays. I use it to make 
these sprays that I made and I use it to make lots of different things actually. White pigment comes in handy. Yeah, I think somebody asked me just yesterday about where to get white pigment from. Because I guess they were looking and they saw that it was it can be expensive, but I, I think Earth Pigments has, and, and you can get other pigments from them pretty cheap too. That's so good. Okay. Nobody wants to pay a million dollars for some stupid pig, because pigments can be damn expensive. It's crazy. thing about pigments is how expensive they can be. Put one more piece over here. Take her snoring. Shelly. See two faces? Where? I know this one, right? That one there. Where's the other one? Here? Here? Those two eyes? But yeah, if you're ever, if you haven't already seen, I have a lot of videos showing how to do different painty paper effects and collage papers and sprays and all kinds of mixed media stuff. So if you haven't seen those, just look on my channel, you'll see, you can search my channel. If you go to my channel, there's a little magnifying glass right above where all the videos are listed in the video section. And you can put in there like keywords like sprays or painty papers or you know mixed media and it'll bring up anything related to that you can find all kinds of things i've done with papers and different stuff if you like that kind of thing oh wait this one's still wet this? my fingers are dirty that's the only other thing with these sprays is they also Stain your hands. <laughs> I 
Good night, Rinka. Does anybody need more time? The two people that are working with me. <laughs> the ORC oh of us yeah it's just you and Lisa I think were the only ones and Laura there's three that's right Laura's working too so three all right let's pick the next card Stencil. 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 Uh, let's do some checkers, squares. Paint. Paint, paint, paint. What color paint? Mm. Maybe some lime green. Lime green. I do with a little bit of lime green. Stenciling. Excuse you, get out of the trash. My rag keeps falling in the trash. Do some do some circles and let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe some pink circles. 
circles. chat freeze I don't think so oh it looked like it did this looks like a big bear made out of pink tissue <laughs> a big pink bear some numbers. Let's do those in um I know. I have this pale lavender color. on top of the thing. Oh, you're playing, JD? Oh, good. Four people are playing.
leftover paint. Just a piece of watercolor actually. Screw it. We'll put that down on here. And we'll just make it and make it work. Amy. Well, I know who's playing along. Sharon, Laura, you, and Lisa, I think. Unless she left. In the background, I highly doubt there's anybody. Usually if they're playing along, they're let, they usually will let me know. But who knows, there might be somebody. Anybody need more time? Okay. My hands are yucky. What are you up to, Miss Amy? I got it stuck under my nails, over my nails. That's the lavender paint. The other stuff I can't really help because it's stained, but the acrylic paint stuck to my hands I can get off. I felt bad for the mail guy on Tuesday. 
Is that yesterday or Monday? Yesterday? When he had to carry all those boxes out because they were so heavy. <laughs> it was over 100 pounds, 100 and, probably 130 pounds of boxes he had to carry. One of them was 50 pounds. I think that was yours, Barbara. Because <laughs> I, I put more stuff in it. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I was like, don't curse my name, but they're heavy. <laughs> He's strong, though. He lifts them up like, like they're nothing. Are you ready, Miss Sharon? All right. Add circles. Add circles. And not the kind that are under your eyes. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of those. Don't you wish we could? Don't you wish we could? That would be great. Well, I added circles. I added those. I'll add some more. Um, maybe I'll do... Um, what kind of circles should I do? Maybe I'll stamp some circles on. Let me get some paint. this tealy color, a metallic teal. I did it like the perfect size too.
And how about some little circles? These ones here, we'll do in the this color here. This is a violet blue iridescent. Get off of there. take a brush and I'm just gonna smooth out some of these ones that have like a a ton of paint that dropped on there maybe I'll fill them in or something since it's got like an interference to it this color does anyway some of these are
Anybody need more time? You're liking yours? Oh, that's good. card. Next card. Oh, use purple. That's easy enough. I wasn't planning on using any purple in this thing until I did that thing. And then I, of course, ended up <laughs> using purple when I sprayed it in the middle there. I was just going to keep it to like blues and greens and yellows. All right, use purple. What kind of purple am I going to do? Let's see. Just want to cut off this little thing here. Use purple. Do I want to use purple paint? Or. Oh, well, that might take a while to dry. I was going to say I used the glitter paste. But. Well, I could try it as long as I'm careful not to make it thick. No thicky thicky. Stencils, I know I saw it. this one then. I um, didn't want that one, but whatever.
just inside the circle. That's a good. off my stencil I tried it
stop it. bottle that it doesn't sit straight. Now let's do it. It like sits weird. It wobbles. <laughs> it's very weird. There we go. All right. Does anybody need more time? it dried pretty well. I thought that stuff was going to take longer to dry than that, but it didn't. It didn't. It's pretty sparkle. All right. Hi, my treasured life. Next card, straw. You can use hay or straw, and I'm just kidding. Use a, use a straw to blow some ink around maybe, or do something, make something happen. I'm going to use some of this and blow it around the white because why not don't exactly want the splatters <laughs> Lightheaded. show in there and put just a little bit of water. Could be interesting if it'll dry. I don't want it too dark. white on its own. I don't need the color in there necessarily.
wrong? My straws are broken. It's interesting that the brushes that were still on the thing when the white went over it and made like a cool effect there. Little purple spots. So I could maybe I put like Well, that's interesting. first and then spray the white and then blow it branches them off which is pretty neat I kind of like that Is doing this the next prompt straw I don't know what you mean by that but using a straw is the prompt it's not the next prompt it is the prompt that's what it be I could probably get a little better purple if I do it and then put the white on top of it some more, more darker. fun to do. That looks really cool. Isn't that cool? Interesting. Interesting way to use the brushes. A little bit more there. are still there. Hmm. Hmm. That's purple. What? Did I, I said it, did I not say it was purple?
Did I not put it down? Is that what you're saying? Did I not put it down? Oh, I didn't put it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Sorry, I didn't know what you meant. No, I haven't put it down, I guess, yet. Yeah. I thought I did for some reason. <laughs> I was confused. I was cornfused. That looks very cool. I like it. What are you trying? Are you ordering something from Amazon? Well, right now, because of the pandemic, things are not, you know, are a little slower than normal. So you just have to be patient because sometimes they don't get to you and, you know, exactly when they say. So don't freak out. Just, just give it time for it to get to you. It'll get there. Just, yeah, give it, give it time. It'll get to you. I've never had nothing. I've never had something not show up. It just takes time because right now the post office is, you know, they don't have all the people they usually have working right now. And so just be patient. Oh, well, if they gave you a refund and then it's out for delivery, whatever, then <laughs> you got it. Plus, you got a refund. Did they physically say it was lost or did they just say it was delayed?
All right, does anybody need any more time? Mine still has some, well, not really. It's just shiny because of the spreading it out. It probably just got put on a wrong truck or something and then it got rerouted. You gotta, whenever you order something online, just just uh, be patient for a day or two because sometimes if it says that, it'll always usually turn up and end up just fine. Sometimes things get thrown on a different truck. Eventually it'll all work itself out. And every package that's you know shipped usually has insurance on it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. All right, next card, add lines, add some lines. Add you some lines, uh, what am I gonna use? My credit card thingy, where's my little one at? somehow. Maybe it won't fit. Huh. Maybe I need the smaller one after all. Usually do ten prompts. Sure. 
this because Hi, Beth. It looks like underwater. Yeah, these look kind of like coral, I guess. It's a good way to make coral. Just using that method, I guess. I like how that came out. I want to do more of that on other papers with the brushes and the white pigment spray. Interesting. You're not going to open it. Why aren't you going to open it? I don't understand. Just open it for crying out loud. You used a purple glitter ink? Cool. Why are you returning it? It's what you wanted and you got it. I don't understand why you would return it. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see. So they're going to, I see. So he requested that it gets returned. Okay. Well, you can keep it, you know, and they will just re they will just recharge your account for the price of it. Just an FYI. If you don't return it, all they do is recharge you for it after 14 days. So So you can keep it and then they'll just charge you for it. Because if, if it's something you wanted, obviously you bought it because you wanted it.
All right, are we ready for the next card? Okay. Use black. So use black. Um, I use them for all kinds of things. I cut them up and use them for ATCs. I'll make journal covers out of them, make tags out of them, use them for cards, all kinds of stuff. Whatever you want. Use black. Let's see. Maybe I'll do some black splatters. Black splatters. That sounds good to me. I like these bigger splatters I'm getting. Oops. Well, that was a a boo boo. I'll fix that. There we go. Start over.
I'm missing a cap, which is missing a cap for the white. The white is missing a cap. Else need more time? Freddy Krueger was trying to get you. Use stamps. You can use your household stamps, your regular stamps. Let's see. some gold metallic and just put a, put a little touch of gold touch of gold There's any other stamp I want to use at this time. Yeah. I'm pretty good with just that. Just that. 
will work for me. Just a touch of gold. Give it a little sparkle. Anybody need more time? Yeah, I kind of dig it. I like the um, I like the splatters the best. The blown straw bits. The blown straw bits. putting lotion over painty hands <laughs> at least it'll make this paint the dried paint soft on my hands <laughs> soft and supple all right we will pull the last card add sparkle well, I kind of already did add sparkle but I can add more sparkle I guess We'll do some optionals, optional cards that you can do in case you wanted to add anything else to it. Let's see what kind of sparkles do I have that I can I usually go with that. This one here I like a lot. This stuff is a lot of fun to use. I like tossing this on here and there. It makes it pretty. Throw some on here. Basically, it's my, it's little bits of mylar inside of a, a glue type of thing, but it gives it a really, really high sparkle, high sparkle factor. Just gotta put it on any which way. in my circles maybe a little bit in here
this out of the brush. A bit of mylar. Maller, Maller. It's another word for plastic, I guess. But I thought Mylar was those like foil balloons. So why are this called Mylar? Somebody's telling a lie. Let's see Glammy. came out colorful too. That's good. Color's good. Colorful is good. Mine came out sparkly. But you can't see, well you can see a little bit. It's got all the different colors in it. A little, it's like uh, Aurora borealis -y. Looks nicer in person than it does on camera. Very cool. All right, I'll put up the optional cards. Add dots. These are optional. You don't have to do them. Add die cuts or punches. And close your eyes and doodle. So those are the three optional cards if you feel like you need a little extra something on your thingy. When you're 
you're done, you should post yours in the group so we can all ooh and ah over your pretty creations. Ooh and ah! I don't know if I can get a picture of this to be as sparkly as it is. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, I got three. Well, you can't, well, I'll put them in the group. I made three pictures, and then I'll do a picture of the whole thing. group too, which I almost never do. I always forget.
I put the pictures. I put the pictures. And I will look at the rest of the pictures. Everybody go look at the pictures of everybody's mixed media mashups. pretty Sharon it's shiny it's pretty it's metallic -y. I like that I like your first layer too I like them both actually I don't see any anybody else's but Sharon's right now. Anybody else share theirs? Sending a join request. What's your name, my treasured life on on Facebook? I I saw that somebody already approved you. I guess because I saw. Um that there was people that were approved. Approved. Joy. Oh, here's this pretty joy. I like that. So Joy was playing in the background. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you for playing, guys. I like this. This came out cool. I don't hate it. It might make a nice journal cover. Actually, I think it make like two journal two nice journal covers if I cut it here and then folded it in half that way I can have that on the cover like that that would be a nice journal cover and then this could be a nice journal cover I could do it this way on that side it could be Oh, I didn't realize you were doing it. I I thought you did it like covertly. Did you say you were doing it? Oh, maybe you did say you were doing it, Joy. I didn't see. I thought you were kind of doing it under the radar without saying you were doing it. But I think you did say you were going to do it. My brain, I think, just forgot. Yeah, it came out really good. Everybody did a good job. Anybody else post theirs? JD, did you post one? Amy posted hers. Ooh, pretty Amy. 
I like your desk, Amy. Oh, that's pretty, Amy. I like that. It came out colorful. Your desk is cool. I like it. Ooh, Lisa. Yours came out pretty, too. I like it. That came out really nice. You guys all did a good job. Very colorful. Cool. We like it. We like it. You emailed? She emailed special delivery. Well, since you, since you're not in the group and nobody else can see yours in the group, I will have to show them on the screen. Did you email me one or two? I have two emails from you. This is Miss Laura's. That's really cool. I like that. Very pretty. What is that stuff? Is that Punchinella? Very cool. Let me see. The, oh, there's another one. I forgot. Uh, is it different? Oh, that one's a little different. Here's another picture of Laura's and that one. Very pretty. I like whatever those gold dots are. I thought it was Punchinelle at first, but I think it looks like some sort of tape with gold dots on it. Very cool. Thanks for playing along. Alrighty, I'm going to get off here. Um, I'll probably come back on in a little bit. And be working on some masks and things. But thanks for playing along and hanging out. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. If you're up late, then you'll probably see me in a little while. So, I will see you in a bit. Have a good night if I don't see you. Pull it back out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.